Montgomery Vikings and your own Cardinal, Cardinals. Tonight is a special night and it is a dark 2024 senior night. Please let's direct our attention to the center of the field as we honor these outstanding young ladies. Up first is number 19, Alex Barnes. This is Alex Fourth here on the varsity soccer team. The first CBSL. She's working as a math tutor, helping 5th and 6th grade students with their homework at Kent Street Charter School in Santa Rosa. <laughs> Alex's advice for her teammates is to enjoy every moment you get with the team because it will go by so much faster than you think. After graduation, Alex plans to attend a four-year university and hopes to major in biology. She would like to thank her parents for their endless support and all of the sacrifices they have made for her. She would like to thank John, Henry, Mike, and Kevin for their support over the years for making her the player she is today. She would also like to thank her teammates for being her second family over the past four years. We would like to honor number 19, Alex Brown. We'd like to honor number 11, Abella Hunter. <laughs> Abella loves crumble cookies. She's a midfield two-year team captain, first team all-league, and press Democrat player of the year. Her CBSL is the Marcus Johnson Memorial Foundation. And her favorite soccer memory is to enjoy the time of the team and do not take the four years for granted because it really does fly by. And you don't stop time. Also remember to keep it classy. Her plans after graduation, she's going to play Division I soccer at UC Davis. She'd like to thank John, Henry, Mike, and Kevin for believing in her all these years. We would like to honor number 11, Bella Hunter. Up next, number 10. Sophia Leitner. She is coaching a fourth grade girls flag football team this year. That's a fun fact. And she's a four year starter, second year team captain, and was part of the first team all league last year. Her CBSL also working for the Marcus Johnson Foundation with Abella, helping sponsor kids in need who don't have equipment and gear to play basketball. She can't imagine picking one favorite memory, but to be playing on the lights, the soccer sleepovers, the traditions, the team room rituals, she's thankful to be a part of this team and will forever be a favorite part of her high school experience. She is planning on attending Colorado Boulder University. Can't wait to join the top team there. She wants to say a huge thank you to her grandparents for coming to all her games, even in the pouring rain. Thank you so much to John, Henry, Mike, and Kevin for being the best coaching staff anyone could ever ask for. And lastly, she wants to thank her parents for supporting her throughout her whole soccer journey. She can't thank them enough for all the travel, time, money, dedication, and late hours spent driving to games and practice. She loves you all so much. We honor number 10, Sophia Whitehead. Right Up next is number 22, Lauren McKinnon. A fun fact for the one she loves, jelly sandwiches. 
She is a Senate defender, first year's team captain, first team all league. For CBSL, she's holding an event called Cat Rock for Cure with her cousin Mia to raise awareness and support for current and previous patients of breast cancer. That's right. Her favorite memory and advice is she would give the other classmates to truly enjoy each and every moment, every year, because no team is the same. People come and go, so make the most of the four months you are together. Be excited for every practice because it is a gift to be a part of this team and a day will come when you have moved on from high school soccer and it will just be memories. Her plans after school is attending a college in the fall, hopefully somewhere in California if all goes well. She'd like to say thank you to John, Henry, Mike, and Kevin for giving her the opportunity on this team to reach success and learn true commitment to her teammates. Also to her parents for all their love and support that has encouraged her to become someone she can be proud of. We honor number 22, Lauren McKinnon. <laughs> Up next is number 21, Maddie Ratto. A fun fact for Maddie, she can't park. <laughs> this is her fourth year as a varsity scholar athlete. Her CBSL is volunteering Providence Mobile Health Clinic to provide health care to the underserved populations in our community. Her favorite members are just the little moments with her teammates, whether it be at a team dinners or before games. She plans on majoring in nursing at Boston College. She would like to thank her family, friends, teammates, coaches, and anyone who supported her these past four years. We'd like to honor number 21, Maddie Rado. Up next, number 17, Hennessy Saunders. <laughs> Hennessy loves iced coffee and spending time with family. She's a forward for both club and high school. Her CBSL is working with the generations. She spends time with Alexander Valley Ladies Aid Society, where she can connect with both older and younger generations varying in age, ethnicity, social status, and demographic. Her favorite memory and advice is the underclass of the disregard entitlements and value inclusivity. That we are all the same and equally valued, loved, and appreciated. After school, she plans to go to college, she's undecided, and major in business and communications. Her goal is to get a master's degree. She'd like to thank her family, and most importantly, her mom for being the most generous soul and strongest role model to everyone around her. She thanks her father for continuously working his hardest and always wanting the best for her. She thanks her sister for being her forever best friend and support. And lastly, she thanks her grandparents for always caring and putting effort into making her a better person. She is who she is because of her beloved family. We honor number 17, Tennessee Songbirds. And now, we honor number zero, Talia Wood. She loves Dave's Hot Chicken. She is a bully for our varsity soccer program, did a great job. That's right. Her CBSL is fifth grade art with St. John students. She does it with Addie Franklin and Lucy Dayton. Her favorite soccer memory and advice 
the team group hug that they gave Coach Henry. Her plan, she wants to go to a four-year university and study in communication. the family, friends, and coaches for the support through her four years here at Cardinal Newman. We honor number zero, Talia Woods. Thank you, Montgomery. We'll have some quick group photos. Get back to the warm-up and play our soccer game. High school sports are one of the things that make living in California so great. But sometimes the behavior in the stands can overshadow our achievements on the field. I love it when my parents show up for me. Well, being booed for missing a play could be crushing. And remember that refs are people too. They're trying their best to call a fair and correct game. No one should feel insulted or ashamed because of their race, ethnicity, or gender. We should be able to hold our heads high after the match, win or lose. And we are at Ed Lloyd Field, where tonight we bring you North Bay League Soccer. We've had a bit of a delay waiting for the third referee to show up, but she has arrived, and we're ready to play some soccer here on Senior Night at Cardinal Newman High School. Should be a great matchup. These teams are first and second place in league play. Cardinal Newman has not lost in the NBL. Montgomery's only loss was to Newman a few weeks ago. Hello, everyone. I'm Dave Cox. Joined tonight by Ryan Corvo, the head men's coach here at Cardinal Newman. And Ryan, got to be looking forward to this one. Uh, senior night, everybody's excited about that. And and uh, Montgomery's kind of a team that's coming on here at the end of the season. Newman beat them by four goals the first time. I think tonight we might see a little different matchup. Yeah, thank you for having me, Dave. I uh, appreciate calling the game and supporting both programs. And 
uh, soccer around the community. But yeah, every game's a new game. So looking forward to see how this one plays out. Both these programs are historically strong. So looking forward to a good game. And interestingly enough, both of these head coaches, Pat McDonald from Montgomery, John Gilson for Newman, played goalie at Montgomery back in the day. So uh, they know each other really well. They respect each other, and uh, they should put on a good show tonight. Yeah, that's how the Sonoma County, the soccer circles run deep. So uh, if you've been here around a little bit, then you're going to know coaches and know players. It's a really tight-knit community. Let's take a look at the starting lineups now. First for the Montgomery Vikings. They will look a little something like this tonight. It'll be Natalia Perez, Natalia Jimenez, Kayla Johnson, Natalie Ortiz, Kaylin Eubanks, Addison Kincaid, Carlene Malone, Brooklyn Smith, Sienna Pierre, Jasmine Mansfield, and back in goal, Naomi Gonzalez. Defense has really been their key. Pierre's played well this year. They need to hold Newman in check tonight. They can't afford to give up three or four goals like they did the first time they met. Yeah, Montgomery would be hoping for a low score, lower scoring game in this one. Keep it tight, and it, as long as they keep it zero zero, better chance that they have in the game. Newman looks like this: Sophia Leitner and Hennessy Saunders up front, Abella Hunter, Bella D'Amico, Eleanor Sneely, and Maddie Rado in the midfield. Lauren McKeown, Juliet Deal, Natalia Mendoza, Alex Barnes on defense, and Talia Woods back in goal tonight. She is a senior. And we are just about ready to go here at long last. Talking about those standings, here they are. Newman, 3-0-1. Montgomery, 2-1-2. And, and here we go. Newman wearing their Cardinal with white shorts. Montgomery in their white with scarlet red and gray trim. Newman likes to attack from the corners, particularly this right corner as they slide this one down to Alexandria Barnes. Now it is Montgomery's Akela Johnson trying to center it up. Bella D'Amico almost got that through to Sophia Leitner. Yeah, Newman's lineup is a little bit different tonight on senior night. They got a, a, a couple of different starters, so interesting to see how uh, the girls gel together in the in the different lineup but same shape as they always play oh good through ball Hennessy's in here we go Hennessy Saunders 1v1 with the keeper and a nice stop coming out in front great save by the Montgomery goalie right there she came out really aggressive and confident made the save good for her Naomi Gomez comes out and makes that stop here's another look at that yeah as you can see Henn Hennessy gets in Attacking the goal. Maybe has the opportunity to shoot or cross it right there, but the touch gets away from her a little bit, and the Montgomery goalie does the rest, makes a great save. Corner kick. This is a play that has been very successful for them. They scored against Sonoma Academy on that. It's nearly very good at putting that ball right on that back post, which is kind of the idea. And that one slides out. It'll be a goal kick for the Bikes. Montgomery looking to go short and build out. Oh, good pressure. And if she saunters, almost had it out front. And wait. All right, inbound now on the far side. Another corner kick for Newman here. And yeah, Newman's going to have another corner. Yeah, this will be a good opportunity for them. Well, short corner here. Ball's in. And that one goes a little bit high. I like that idea, though. Go short and get the ball back to Bella Hunter. Let her go one-on-one, -on -one, see if she can't make a play. Montgomery sending that one long. Natalia Perez with a decent goal kick near midfield, and Cardinal Newman controls it. A lot of draws. We changed the rules a couple years ago to eliminate the 
double overtime, and uh, I think that was a good move, but it's a little trickier to figure out the standings now. How many, what do you get, two points for a win, one for a draw, or is it three and one? I'm not sure. Three points for a win and one point for a draw. Okay. And now I go back and forth on the overtime rule sometimes, you know, but it, games do get long. I don't mind the overtime as long as there's a golden goal involved. That's, yeah. I think that's, you know, fine. It's exciting. Prepare you for NCS, too. For sure. Ball sent over to the far side. Montgomery now with a chance to try to organize an attack. Oh, Montgomery's in. Good ball right to the goal, and Talia Woods has it. Woods with a nice throw in. Leitner over to Sneerly. Tight up in the middle. Good battle between the midfielders. Montgomery's defense and mids against Newman's forwards and mids will be a really good matchup all night. There's another nice through ball, but headed back into play. Montgomery trying to control it near midfield. Montgomery's had some really tough battles this year. A lot of low-scoring, close games. They lost a bunch of those early in the season as the team was still developing, but now they're on a little bit of a roll here in league play as Bella Hunter takes it down into the corner. They really like to attack from that corner piece, and, and they do a really good job of that. Yeah, speaking on, on Montgomery, sometimes you know the records a little can be deceiving. If you're playing top-notch top D1 schools, it, you know your record might be... Oh, good shot, shot on by the goal, goalie. and it yeah. goes over the top. Great left-footed shot by uh, Bella D'Amico there, and the goalie pushed it over. Great save. But going back to that point, if you play uh, you know, a lot of early big D1 schools, as you can see the highlight right here, Bella dribbling in with her left foot. That's actually her right. She's right-footed, so it's her opposite foot. Made good contact, and goalie made the save. Corner. They go short. Snearly keeps it alive, looking for that back post. The header goes just a little wide. Yeah, Sophia Leiner does a great job of attacking the ball in the air. Has a great little left-footed chip ball to the back post, and Sophia jumped up and attack, attacked it. She get, did a great job of just didn't get it on frame, but she did everything she could. Really nice ball. Freshman. Good goal kick again, Try, kind of toward that same spot. Norris nearly has it. Just a freshman. She's played really well this year for Coach Gilson. Yeah, she worked her way into the starting lineup. Hey, originally they were thinking about having a JV team, but they nixed that idea. That's why their games have all started at 6 o'clock. Just didn't quite have the numbers for two teams. So this is Newman's game right here as you're watching it, trying to do sh possess the ball, short, quick passes, change the point of attack. Coach Gilson and Coach Belmonte preach that all the time. Sophia's in. Leitner has it. Nice feed from Barnes. Now it's Abella Hunter. Hunter turns the corner, fires it to the middle, hand on it, trying to settle it and follow up, and it goes just a little wide. Wow. Montgomery's goalie is playing great this half. Nice job by the keeper to get a hand on that, or who knows where that would have ended up. Yeah, it was a great turn by Bella, just in one one motion, got her body around the ball, crossed it in, fell to Natalie, but Montgomery goalie comes up big again. Another short corner. Kind of interesting. Oh, good that cut. Doing that on those set pieces, into the middle. There. Follow up, ball still alive out in front, cleared. Leitner got a left foot on it. Another one. Newman attacking hard here in the early going. Dangerous ball out in front. Keeper was in the right place. And then the defender, Montgomery defender, helps out and clears it out. The keeper was down, so she had to get that out of there as quickly as possible. Looks like this one's going to go in deep. Newman switching it up. Left-footed in-swinger ball. Good ball, back post, still alive. Little bumping going on down there. And Montgomery gets it out. Bella Hunter trying to settle it. Does a nice job. Long shot goes up and over. Wow, nice ball by Bella D'Amico. 
Newman really attacking hard. Yeah, if you show the, the replay on that one, um, look at Bella D'Amico from basically the same spot. That one, she hit it with the right foot, so you could see how talented she is as a player. The first time she hit it with her left foot, goalie made the save. Second time she hit it with the right foot, hit off the upright of the, of the football stanchion. So great player, being able to shoot with both feet outside the box. Let's see if Montgomery can now get organized a little bit right here, get the ball out of their own end for a little, take some pressure off. Great move by Natalie to get out of pressure. Good ball by Juliet. for the Cardinals. Newman really has been on the attack here. There's another nice ball. Montgomery defense has been able to rise to the challenge each and every time. Some open field now for the Vikings to counter. Yeah, they have numbers. And Newman sends it out on that far side. Talia Woods waiting in goal. See if Montgomery can mount an attack now. Newman's had three shots on goal. Montgomery zero so far. And Talia Woods will be able to grab that one. That one's sent out on the near side. It's going to be Montgomery's ball. Last touch, Tennessee Saunders. Nice senior ceremony here tonight before the game. Yeah, a little tailgate. Parents having fun, doing a good job. Yeah, well, I didn't get any of the barbecue. Nobody brought me anything. Oh. Man, oh, man. I'm here setting up all afternoon. I don't get a burger or nothing. You got to take advantage of this nice sunshine that we get before the weather turns. Winter soccer. This is nice by Montgomery right here, putting together a couple of passes up, went out of bounds, but good job for them, putting, taking a couple touches, getting some passes, relieving the pressure. Human defense will take care of this one to the near side. It comes for Alex Barnes. Newman slowly mounting an attack here. Montgomery shifting over. Yeah, it's a stat that the coaches track. The girls, they, 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 they count the number of passes that they have, so they always want to try to outnumber the other team in the pass. Oh, great little spin move by Nora. Snearly gets it into the middle. Slips all the way through. Barnes has an opportunity. Takes it down to the right. And it's going to be another corner for the Cardinals. That's their fourth corner so far. And Montgomery defense holding strong. Newman likes to try to see one of these go in there, capitalize on all these corners that they've been having early. Here goes Bella Short. Good ball, far post again, but it gets through everybody, and Montgomery tries to clear. Ball's still loose out in front. Vikings defense is there, but the Cardinals follow it up. 
with the goal. Newman takes the lead. Great job by Bella D'Amico there, not giving up on the play, being first to the rebound. Bella D'Amico gets the goal. And Newman takes the lead. Here it is again. A little bit late on that. All right, well, let's see how Montgomery can respond. Number seven for Carl Newman. She's been all over the field early on in this half, receiving the ball on the left. Here's the goal. Oh, here comes the highlight of the goal. Ball fell down in the box. Bella D'Amico was first to it, didn't let it bounce on the ground. Put her foot right through it. Goal. There's Nora right there just on the throw-in. She turns to go to, the goal, go to the goal to get a cross-off. She goes out of bounds, but it's so positive. Every one of her touches is going forward. It's really aggressive. She's been having a great first half so far. Sienna Roy getting set to check in for Newman. Goal kick. Bella D'Amico. She's kind of all over the field. Listed as a midfielder, but she kind of plays everywhere. Yeah, well, that's what that was. What makes Newman so good is that a lot of teams will line up in your typical four-three-three, which would mean four defenders, three midfielders, and three fours. But Newman plays a four-four-two diamond, which clogs four girls up in the middle of the field. So the width would be coming from the outside backs, Alex Barnes and Natalie Mendoza. So it's very difficult for the opposition because you're not man-to-man. -man. You have to find the zone. You have to find the spaces, and it's not like typically how teams play so if you're not used to defending it there could be girls in different spots than what you would normally see in two teams that line up in a 4-3-3 Alex Barnes has it sending it back back and forth but this is where Montgomery could be aggressive in these moments right here once they they steal the ball from Newman or create turnovers they got to run forward and try to counter attack Barnes has it, trying to get it to D'Amico, or excuse me, to Hunter, and it slides all the way back to the keeper. Naomi Gonzalez has it. But that's why you can see like Nora and Bella D'Amico, you say they're all over the field is because they have that extra body in midfield. So they, they're able to run into the open spaces or create overloads, which Coach Gilson tries to coach them to do, and then they'll see what the defenders, how the defenders react to their motion. Bella D'Amico, good turn, slides it through, Hunter is there. Great first touch. Bella Hunter tries to center it up, it's blocked by one of the Vikings, but she recovers her own shot. Down into the corner it goes. And sent out on the near side. D'Amico will throw it in. And now here comes the substitution. She's done a great job so far. Nora had played great. Yeah. 
Snirley checks out and Sienna Roy checks in. This one's sent back. Lauren McCowan, one of the seniors that was honored before the game. Julia Deal has it. McCowan and Deal just kind of setting things up, allowing everyone to get organized and space out. Montgomery taking it away, however. And it slides out on that far side. Newman up 1-0, scored the first goal. Had, I believe it was on their fifth shot. They've had a lot of opportunities. And that one ends up sliding all the way through. Actually, it was the sixth shot, according to Hugo. He had nothing the goalie could do on that one. The ball was bouncing around in the box, but she's <laughs> done a great job on every other one. Now, if you're Montgomery, you just want to get a couple shots here and try to keep the ball on this end of the field as yeah. much as you can. Like I said, they, they just don't want to fall behind by two or three. That's not their game. Yeah, Newman is going to possess more of the ball, but if you could create turnovers and, and get in these situations where you have dead ball corner kicks right here, this is where Montgomery should throw numbers, send their two center backs forward, try to whip it in and, and tie this ball game up. So we are going to get a corner for the Vikes. Like Natalie Ortiz is going to take it. This is where like a, a, a program like with, with Coach McDonald, they're organized, they're going to have a play set up, ready to go. Let's see what the girls are able to do. Good ball in. Talia Woods has that one. First shot on goal for the Bikes. Woods right there, an easy save. Malone that time for the Bikes, sends it down. Newman will try and organize once again. Yep, this is where they like to get on the ball, keep it in the back and swing it, wait till the angles and the opportunities to open up and then play the splits. Barnes, nice through ball. Hunter was there, but so was a Montgomery defender. And it trickles out on the near side. It'll be a throw in for the Vikes. You could hear Coach Gilson down on the sideline telling the girls to talk, wanting them to get on them about communication. And I think that's uh, every coach across the nation wanting, to, wanting their kids to communicate more. It was Jasmine Manfield that time on defense for Montgomery doing a nice job. Staying with Bella Hunter. Now it'll be a Newman throw in. Bella D'Amico will back that up a little bit. And she'll throw it back. Yeah, see, I, I mean, that's so simple, but I love that right there. It's like a lot of times in high school soccer, throw the ball forward, it's 50-50 ball. You might get it, maybe not. Just keep possession, keep moving it. Now they swing the ball out to the opposite side and have opportunities to attack. It's just a smart play. And then she gets it right back. Yep, here comes Barnes now. Right down Bella D'Amico down the line. There it is. D'Amico has it. Defense shifting back over. D'Amico tries to split two of them. She's got a little opening. Tries to chip it inside. Now she'll head it back that way, but the Vikings defense is there again. Barnes will go far side. Newman ready to substitute again. A lot of great depth. That's one thing that Newman can keep bringing in fresh players. You have that luxury on the boys' team as well to wear the other team down a little bit. Down inside. Hunter has it. Just on the top. Barnes. Trying to find someone that she crosses it through the box. Ariana Regina takes it for the bikes. Oh, unlucky. She did a really good job of slowing the play, letting her teammates run forward. Unfortunately, the pass didn't connect, but she did a good job staying on the ball and letting her team get up the field. 
There's Bella Hunter again all over the place. Maddie Ratto sent that one back. Long ball. Vikings defense there again. Here's Bella Hunter. Hunter turning the corner. Bella D'Amico has it. She's able to turn. Can't she square it up? Fike there with a header. Follow-up by Roy goes a little bit wide. She tried to volley that one time. It just kind of missed it a little bit. And here comes a sub for both teams. Maddie Fuller will come in for Montgomery. Here's the replay. Fuller checking in. Hennessy Saunders checking out. Good defense by Ratto. Used her body to shield in, kept the possession. There's Bella Hunter. Nice job sending that one to the far side. Maddie Ratto looking for D'Amico. Balls all the way through. Hunter trying to get there. She's got it. Oh, Bella yeah. Hunter, 1v1, and she hits the back of the net. Uh, call the oh, foul. my. Call the foul. Oh, the foul call is going to go against Newman. That was a great ball by Natalie, left-footed. The ball swung out. Maddie Ratto won it in the back, kept possession. They sprayed it wide. Here comes the replay right here. You see Bella using her body, going through, put her laces through it. Great shot. Got called back for the foul, but good overall play. Good job, Alex. Take that one off the board. Vikings really kind of dodging a few bullets right here. It's 1-0, and it could be 2 or 3 easily. Yeah, they're still in this game. A lot of time left. I mean, with that, that's where they're going to find their opportunities. Newman's going to keep the most of the possession, but if they could turn them over in the middle of the field, look forward, they could counterattack, set plays, still a game. There's Pat McDonald. Montgomery's had a great tradition. Think of those great battles they've had with Carrillo over the years. Uh, the balance of power has kind of shifted more toward Windsor and Newman the last few years. But uh, lo and behold, look at the Vikings right now. Just a couple of points behind Newman this year. Yeah, it goes back a long time. I mean, even Ursuline days. Two great programs. A little over 12 minutes to go now in this first half. You know, one of the best compliments you could say about both coaches, though, is all of their girls, they absolutely love playing for them and work so hard for them. And it's just programs of respect and working hard and competing at the highest level. They, both of them do such a great job. Here's a switch ball. Of Bella D'Amico could get it switched to Alex. She's in. Flag is not up. Yeah, she Barnes got has it. Nice defense by the Vikes once again. Very close to offside, but she did a very nice job that time waiting. Here's a good yeah, replay of it. Yeah, you see the through ball. Alex takes her first touch. She's trying to find Maddie Fuller across the middle, but good defense. Ball doesn't get through. Yeah, Fuller was right there, in, right in front of the goal, too. Yeah, she was running hard.
Another nice goal kick. They really like to send it down that yeah. right side. Jimenez has it. Bella D'Amico. Yeah, that short, pa excellent short passing by Cardinal Newman right there. Coach Gilson will be happy about that. They work on that all the time. Great ball. Sienna Roy's in. If she takes a good first touch, she, oh, unselfish. Passes it oh. over, and it goes wide. That was a great overall play by Newman. Very unselfish by Sienna. Natalie coming up for her left back spot, getting the shot off. Great play. As you watch this, look at that through ball left foot. Sienna's running in. She takes a good first touch to control it. Even better pass to her teammate. She could have shot it there, but left it to her teammate. Very unselfish. Corner kick, Cardinals. Ball bouncing around out front. Vikings get there and clear it. Only one player back. Uh -oh, break Look away. out, break away for the Vikes. She has time if she could take a good touch. Lorez. Oh, what hustle. Wow. Wow, what a play. Lauren McEwen with great hustle right there. And she has the wherewithal to play it short and quick. What an awesome play. Cardinals on a counter. Barnes has it. Alex Barnes trying to settle it. Ball still loose. D'Amico. Now it's Abella Hunter and it goes just wide. Bella with two spins right there, left-footed shot, just wide. Here's the earlier play first. Yeah, the breakaway. Look at Lauren hustling, never quitting on the play, getting in there, getting the tripping foul called. Best part of the play is she just gets up and puts it right back in. Yeah, she might have ran 40 yards. And here's that last one. As you can see, Bella, Bella Hunter gets the ball, turns, turns, left-footed shot. Just wide. Exciting play so far. Yeah, that's the energy. Play by Lauren is an energy booster for all your teammates. You see someone work that hard. Makes everyone work play makes everyone want to play harder. Under nine minutes. Very rare you see a player as as open in the open field as Prez was. But, uh, again, she's got to dribble the ball. The other player catching up is just running full speed yeah. after her. <laughs> Trying to get it through to Hunter. She's got it. Bella Hunter, nice pass. D'Amico centered back up in front, and it goes over the top. Great one-touch play across the middle by Newman. The ball is connecting the three or four players, getting it wide, cross it in. Here comes the replay. Bella gets it wide. To Bella D'Amico, cross in. A little bit behind Maddie Fuller. Goes over the crossbar. But Newman's kind of settled in right now. They're t playing one and two touch passing. Hunter has it. Can't quite catch up. Shots on goal sitting at six to one. Vikings have had four saved so far. Leitner trying to center that up. Bella D'Amico ends up rolling out. She'll chase it down. We're coming up uh, five minutes and some change here in the first half. And as coaches, you always talk about the last five minutes of the first half and the first five of the second. So this is important minutes for Monty right here. You want to try to keep this thing 1-0 going into halftime. Newman probably trying to put their foot on the gas pedal make this thing too. Yeah, I agree. Even if they don't find an equalizer here before the half, they're going to feel pretty good about what, what, uh, what's happened and how they've managed to keep Newman out of the goal all but once. Yeah, you go just stay positive, pump up the girls, and try to come out in the second half and get one. It's been 
as that play half is played out, 1-0 at halftime, take it. Yeah, last time they played it was 4-0 at the intermission. So this uh, could be a whole different story, although Newman's had plenty of chances, that's for sure. Coming to the near side. Newman closed out that first half very strong at Montgomery. Had a couple of late goals in the first Great half. Great pass so by Alex right there. Santa turns. Newman's finding the space. Roy to Hunter. Vikings cleared out. Oh, unlucky. Julia Deal was in the right place at the right time there. Here's Hunter. Finding Barnes, wide open, near side. Slides it ahead to D'Amico, back to Hunter. Hunter makes her way inside and sends it just a little bit high. Great turn and shot. Probably wants that one back. No doubt. Great cut. Wow, two touches, playing awesome right now. Turn and shot, a little bit over. Can't keep letting her get those opportunities. Eventually one of them are going to go in. She's too good of a player. A little shove down. That's going to be a foul call. It goes against the Vikes. I like Newman's going with the quick, quick restarts, putting it down, playing, trying to keep the ball. They're moving it one and two touch. Looks great. This is Barnes. She's been very active and a nice job controlling this near side. Slides it through. Bella D'Amico's. <laughs> D'Amico looking for help. Here's Barnes. Leitner, left footer, no good. Sienna Roy, excuse me, there's Leitner, and Leitner goes over the top. That football crossbar is getting a lot of work tonight. Boy, it is. That through ball to Bella D'Amico was excellent by Alex Barnes. We got a highlight here on the shot. Yeah, Sienna Roy with a turn. Maybe looking for a left-footed shot there. Got blocked. Newman stayed with it. Leitner hit it up over the crossbar. Oh, great ball by Maddie Fuller. Barnes Boom. tries to catch up. Good hustle by Alex, keeping it in. Great turn by Juliet, keeping possession. Barnes again. Roy has it. Sienna Roy turns, shoots, and it's stopped. Good save. Wow. Yeah. Good shot by Sienna. Not 25 yards out. Good save by the goalie. Gonzalez. Her fifth save yeah. so far. Her defender was there to help her out, clear it out. Hunter has it. And again, Gonzalez is there. Eighth shot on goal for Newman here in the first half. It's been a dominating performance in the first half, but it's 1-0, so I mean, it's still anyone's ball game. Under two minutes. <coughs> Sienna Roy. Excuse me, D'Amico. Barnes has it now. 
Alex Barnes has done a great job controlling that midfield. Yeah, the defenders on Newman are stepping in to the ball first. They're winning everything that comes out, and then they're able to keep possession and pass it around, making the Monty girls have to run. Julia Deal back to Barnes. Lauren McCowan has it now. Back to Julia Deal, just eating up a little bit of time. Maddie Fuller has it, trying to turn, get it to Abella Hunter. Hunter and D'Amico in the right corner. Hunter turns, makes her way toward the goal, centers it up, wide open, Leitner. Right before Sophia half. Leitner, right before the end of the half. Wow. Here it is. So Bella gets the opportunity to go one on one, gets by her defender, slotted it in. The center referee went NASA AR about offsides, but said no, called the goal. Great run by Sophia Leitner. Probably well deserved by the Newman girls right there. Yeah, they earned that one. Nine shots on goal, and two of them. They've managed to get past the keeper. But that's a big momentum right before halftime. That changes the ball game. Now in stoppage time. Good job by Natalie turning, finding her teammate. Abella Hunter. Oh, great layoff. Another opportunity here for the Cardinals, oh. but Gonzalez is there. Way to hang on to that if that spills out. You had uh, Maddie right in front of her, Sienna right in front of her, and she held on to it. Great save by the goalie. Critical save as the first half yeah. comes to an end. But th that, that's what makes Newman special, though. They have, like, Bella D'Amico, Bella Hunter, girls that could just beat their defender off the dribble. And so you, you could be in good defensive position. You could be balanced. But if you just, you know, beat a defender and make someone else commit, someone's going to be open, and Newman does a great job with that. So Newman leads it 2-0 at the break. Hard-fought battle, but... The Cardinals break free a couple times. Bunch of shots, but two of them find the net. So we'll take a break right here. Be back with some highlights of that first half. prepare students to analyze and write at the college level so their essays and expressions of ideas stand out and get noticed, not only at the college level, but through life. In theology classes, we explore God through the Catholic lens and help students connect the mysteries and gifts of our faith with the realities of the world. We help students learn to provide service to others and their community as a means of living the principles of our faith. Through the arts, dance, modern band, drama, and studio art, students develop their creativity and imaginations to express themselves in ways not possible in traditional academics. Our math and science programs guide students into college-level work. 
with an emphasis on ensuring they can meet the rigors of engineering, medicine, and scientific research college pathways. Uh, we ensure a solid foundation in history while analyzing modern day challenges to ensure students are prepared for success in a multicultural, multi religious world. Our students take a deep dive into the culture behind the languages they learn. Whether it's French, Spanish, or Latin, our students develop the language skills in ways that expand their awareness and appreciation of other cultures. We approach athletics differently from most schools by focusing on the science of human performance, supporting students with certified athletic trainers, and having professional coaches who are experts in their sport and in motivating young adults. Breaks a tackle and he's gone on the very first play! Oh! With two college counselors and three grade level counselors, we support students through their high school career and expertly guide them through their college selection and scholarship applications. High school goes by in a flash, but if you make the most of it, you'll have lifelong memories and skills needed for college and beyond. High school sports are one of the things that make living in California so great. But sometimes the behavior in the stands can overshadow our achievements on the field. I love it when my parents show up for me. But being booed for missing a play could be crushing. And remember that refs are people too. They're trying their best to call a fair and correct game. No one should feel insulted or ashamed because of their race, ethnicity, or gender. We should be able to hold our heads high after the match, win or lose. Welcome back here at the half, 
Newman with the lead. Dave Cox and Ryan Corvo with you. Uh, pretty exciting first half. Newman had a lot of opportunities. We'll take a look at the highlights right now, Ryan and, and uh, Montgomery. Even though they gave up that late goal, they still got to be feeling pretty good. But that that one hurt. That last goal really hurt. Yeah, the girls, the Monty girls, they battled hard, stayed in, and you can see the highlights right here. The good through ball in to Hennessy. She's taking her touch free trying to get the ball out from underneath her feet but the Montgomery keeper comes out and makes an excellent save and that was very early on in the game there's a shot right there at the top by Sophia Leitner again Montgomery keeper coming through making another great save corner kick actually oh there's the goal right there came off a corner kick the ball got knocked down and Bella D'Amico's first to it and put it in the back of the net that was like on their fifth corner kick of the half here's Bella Hunter muscling through, getting through, shot goes in, but uh, foul call before the goal goes in, but working hard. And then this was Monty's best chance of the half, got a breakaway, but Lauren McEwen, so great hustling. She might have sprinted 40 yards to get back there in front of her. What an awesome play. Deep shot by Newman right there. Again, Monty Keeper coming up with a big save. And then right here, this is right before halftime. This one was kind of the killer right here. Uh, Bella Hunter getting around her. Was it all sides? Close. Mm. The player that was closest to Hunter was actually a little deeper than the player that was guarding Sophia. So I think that made it a legal play. Yeah. that's a, And you always just tell your kids, no matter what, you just play to the whistle. And that's what Sophia Liner did. And Bella slipped it in. And they got the goal, 2-0 a half. And as you kind of see in the background of the, of the little graphic right there, the rain is starting to come down. So we'll see how that affects the second half here. Yeah, I'll see the shots way in favor of Newman, 10-1. to one, And... Montgomery did a pretty good job with some saves, but the corner kicks also favor the Cardinals. Five to one. That's the story here at the half. We'll take another break right here and be back with the start of the second half of play in just a moment. There you see the rain starting to come down here at Ed Lloyd Field. 2-0 the score at the end of the first half. Looks like it's coming down pretty good out there. Give me a chance to let you know tonight's game is being sponsored by McCormick and Company Homes and Loans, a family tradition of experience, trust, and loyalty. They are proud Newman sponsors and alumni. Let our family help your family with all your real estate and financing needs. Also sponsoring tonight's game, Corrective Exercise and Restoration. Team trainers here at Newman, get your athlete back on the court or back on the field as quickly and as safely as possible with Corrective Exercise and Restoration. Also sponsoring tonight's game, Poppy Bank. Since opening the first branch in 2005, Poppy Bank has grown to nearly $6 billion in assets with branches throughout California and lending offices nationwide. Poppy Bank is rated five stars by Bauer Financial Incorporated for strength and security and is recognized as one of the strongest financial institutions in the nation. For more information on their incredible products and services, visit www.poppy.bank. Also sponsoring tonight's game, Friedman's Home Improvement, BNC Smog Tires and Brakes. Yeah, so as we kick off this second half here, uh, you know, Coach McDonald is telling his girls that you know two zero is the most dangerous lead in soccer. So you know, they Monty could score one early right here, two one. They're right back in it and. Coach Gilson and Coach Valmonte are telling his girls, keep possession, keep the ball, and build off the success that you had in the first half. Rain continuing to come down. Not looking good. 
Tonight's game also sponsored by W Real Estate, the largest locally owned and founded real estate brokerage in the North Bay with 10 offices and 285 agents. Looks like we're about set for the second half. And away we go. All right, Ryan, what adjustments do you expect to see here in the second half, if any? Well, I think Newman is going to continue to try to keep the ball. That's their style of play. Their coach is always uh, preaching two touches, possession, move the ball. But on the flip side of that, you know, if, if Montgomery could create turnovers, then they have opportunities for counterattacks, and it, it could be on. So you'd like to think that Montgomery probably push a little bit more numbers up forward, try to, you know, try to get back into this game. I think Newman is going to try to just continue to do, do the same by moving the ball across the back and finding the openings in the middle of the field. Ball kind of trickles out near side. But Monty's not out of this thing. It just takes one opportunity. You get create one turnover or cut one pass, and Newman's opened up, and they have an opportunity to try to get back in this thing. Mansfield with a throw in. She'll chase it down now. Mansfield trying to turn, but the defense is there for Newman. Sienna Roy doing a nice job. There's Abella Hunter. Leitner has it now. The link-up play by the Newman girls have been awesome today. They're finding their forwards. They're laying it off. They're getting the ball wide. Here comes a cross in by Alex. Barnes into the middle, and Hunter can't quite catch up with it. She'll get it before she gets out of bounds, and here she'll go one-on-one, -on -one, try to get by a defender. This is what makes her so special. Oh, great defense by Monty right there. But the point I was making is as Newman's connective play, that, that their backs are skipping the midfield, they're finding their forwards, they're laying it off to the midfielders, they're getting their outside backs high and wide and playing it. Um, they're doing an excellent job with their structure and their shape and what they're trying to do. They're executing it just like the coaches want. There's a Bella Hunter on her way to UC Davis after this year. Jane Phillips starting the second half. Here's Abella Hunter. There's Hunter again. Hunter oh, slides goal. it in. Yeah. Goal, Newman. Well, oh, good start by Newman right here. Three minutes into the second half. Bella Hunter, beautifully done. Check the replay on that. But that's what Bella Hunter could do. Yeah, just a terrific job of controlling that pass and sliding it past the defense. Rain seems to be actually picking up. We're expecting a lot of rain tomorrow. You guys have a game on Wednesday. What What do you think? Could be a little sloggy out there. Yeah, that's winter soccer. Used to it by now. And Thank goodness for the turf, though, right? It's the same for both teams. Maddie Fuller has it. Makes it slick, but just got to play through it. Okay. 
Again, even in the games that Montgomery lost early in the season, they played people tough. They The only team they've really had a really tough time against is this Cardinal Newman team. It's just a matchup that just doesn't favor them well at all. Yeah, but what, what makes Newman special is they have girls that could break you down one-on-one. -on -one. The quality of attackers that they have and scoring goals from so many different players, it, it makes it really hard. You can't just key up on one girl. You can't follow Bella Hunter around because Bella D'Amico could find the spaces or Sienna Roy could get in there or even the freshman girl Nora. Um, it's her skills and ability, you watch her at practice, she could do some amazing things. So that's what, what makes Newman great is that they could score goals. And goals change games. Here's Hunter again up top. Fires it just a little high. Worth three points in football, but zero in soccer. Yeah, you wonder if you start looking down and seeing uh, some of the girls on Newman getting warmed up, see the changes that they make. Here's a corner kick right here, short corner. A little pass to Bella Hunter at the top of the box. Takes a shot. It's actually really good defense by the Montgomery defender right there, closing off the angle, making her go up high. Nice goal kick again for Montgomery. Coming down this right side, but Newman handles it. Here's Hunter. Oh, nice job settling. Hunter to the middle. Vikings defense is there this time. And it rolls out. Lauren McCown will chase it down. Yeah, credit to the Montgomery girls right now. I mean, they're still running hard and competing and battling. It's been a tough game so far, but they're not they're not quitting. Looks like Saunders may come back into the game. Bear, that's an offside call. I think that's the key. If you're Montgomery right now, you just go back to just simple, just being first to the ball, trying to pick up the second ball, will your way into trying to create some chances. Hopefully you get a good look on goal, get an opportunity to get back in this game. Nice ball, slides all the way through, and Woods is there. Montgomery turns that one oh, around. In. Good opportunity here for the Vikes. Can they capitalize? Shot goes wide. Good run by Natalia Jimenez, but she sent it just a little bit wide. Yeah, very positive right there going forward. First touch took her a little bit away from the goal, but she got the shot off. Here's the replay right here. You can see Talia Woods coming out, being big, trying to make the save. But she did a good job of running in the space. She didn't quit on the ball. She saw it was going to go over the Newman girl's head and ran in there and got into the space and got the shot off. Fuller out. Saunders in. Foul call goes against Newman. Yeah. So right here, this is where Montgomery, even though you're down, take your time on this thing. Try to This ball has to go over the back four. It's raining. Put it in a dangerous spot in the box and see if you can't get on the end of it. Send it down into the box. It slides all the way through. Vikings come up empty.
Good turn by Sophia Leiner right there. Oh, and a good tackle on the Montgomery defender. Punt out to midfield for the Vikes. Nice job to get back and kick it out. Yeah. Cardinals defense looking good there. Yeah, good speed by Deal right there. Close the ball down. Juliet Deal looking fast. Yeah, she's been awesome for the girls, too. I remember last year as a freshman, started in the NorCal final game as a freshman, really hadn't played really throughout the whole whole year, and some injuries happened and things, and she worked her way in the starting lineup, and then freshman starting in the NorCal game, and now she hasn't given that spot up. It's been hers all this year, so she's yeah, been doing a great job. What great experience. And playoffs are coming soon. Yeah. Two more weeks of regular season, and then it's off to NCS. Newman sitting in the number one spot right now for NCS Division Three. Super Bowl Sunday. We'll find out what those brackets are. I know a lot of people have other things on their mind that day, but high school soccer fans will definitely be paying attention to that. Nice turn. That's what's so nice about having Natalie. She has that left foot, so it just helps balance your team. You know, it's just so natural for her to let that ball go across her body and clear that out. And you know, Sometimes you have a right footer on that left foot back spot and it looks a little bit awkward or feels different, but she's so natural playing that position. Sachi, if you're here, Sachi, we found your wallet. Sachi. Foul call, that's going to go against the bikes. Alex Barnes, ready to hit this one. Newman was taking every set piece quick in the first half, and now that they're up to 3 0, slowing the game down. Smart game play. Now, sometimes that clock seems to roll really slow in this situation, doesn't it? I've been when on you're behind, it's going fast. We've been on both sides of it, Dave. Sometimes it goes slow and sometimes it goes fast. It's, just got to keep playing. The ball goes out on the near side. Montgomery will chase it down. Field will throw this one in. Trying to get it down into a corner. Oh, good first touch. Use the left foot, let it go across her body. Newman cleaned it up. Cardinals send that out on the far side. But this is not bad right here for Montgomery. A little su sustained pressure down on Newman's back right here and with the weather and putting it in you never know if someone takes a bad touch or a poor clear you'd be able to get a shot off much better being down in Newman's end of the half it's like the rain's starting to let up just a little bit now there we go free kick this oh is an my yeah I think it's not nah, just outside, outside, outside of the box. box close but just outside of the box for a free kick but this is what happens when you play in the opponent's end and not in your end that the good things can happen. Right. Being on the front foot. Looks like Natalie Ortiz is going to take this one. Yeah, so just not over the crossbar. Put it in play. Make the goalie make a save. Have a give your girl opportunity to get on the end of it. If it spills out, you have a rebound.
Good ball right there, and Woods has it. Good hands by Woods right there. No rebound, just snatched that ball right up. It's a good job, confident. Good for her. Woods has had a good game, keeping that zero on the board. Okay, well, not only a little bit of rain, but I think the temperature just dropped about 15, 20 <laughs> degrees as yeah. well. This is five, six passes right there from Newman, just splitting each time, splitting defenders, moving the ball across the field. Give me Newman's ball. A couple of subs coming in for Newman. Subs, subs. Two center backs coming out. Yeah, they had a great game. Both uh, Lauren and Julia had great games back there. Probably going to put their jackets on be done for the night. Julia Deal, Lauren McCowan taking a seat. That one's sent all the way through. Wind picking up now too. My goodness, We're getting all the elements in here. We're in the press box, but uh, I'm feeling a little bit of drip going on here. I want to keep this computer dry. Sienna right there, changing the point of attack. Newman does a really good job of working the ball from the left to the right and back to the left. That ball goes all the way to the through. keeper. Lightner gets there on. first. Oh, too far of a touch. Goalie did a good job of coming out. Great hustle wow. by Lightner. It's going to be a goal kick. It was a race to the ball. She got there first. Just touched a little bit. Took her a little bit away from the goal, but she ran really hard. She's a tough girl. I like the way that she plays. Montgomery's done a nice job on these goal kicks. I like to send it down this right side. Yeah, she gets good distance. They go the other way this time, though. Well, against the wind, too. Yeah. Saunders trying to turn the corner. Can't quite get it around. The yeah. new Montgomery defense. It's like another goal kick for the bikes. Great layoff by Hennessy right there. Newman's just first to all the long balls. As you see Sophia getting to that goal kick first. Great overlap. Bella Hunter into the middle. Oh, Sienna Roy with a very nice shot. Yeah, that was Krillin. Good save by the goalie. Eighth save of the night. But that all stems from a goal kick, and then Sophia Leitner's first one to it heads it back in, so the ball's going like Newman's momentum forward, and they're able to pass and move. Another goal kick. We're about midway through the second half now. Cardinal Newman in control, looking to stay in first place here in the North Bay League Oak. Defense is there again for Newman. Really outstanding midfield play today for the Cardinals. Yeah, they dominated. 
That one's coming all the way through. But simple though, they've just been passing, like two touch passing, finding the splits. Where they've been going one on one is when they've had their momentum in the final third going to goal is when they're going one on one. They're not really dribbling in the midfield. Little replay here. Here's Sienna Roy's shot. Puts a nice spin on it. Goalie makes the same. Keeper comes out. Nice job. Naomi Gonzalez. She's had a good night. Keeping that ball in the midfield. Yeah, I mean, that sequence right there. Newman just put together nine straight passes, and then it's a little 50-50 ball, but they win it back. I mean, they're just able to control the ball all across the field. Natalie Mendoza centers it up. Good oh, pass. Great cross. A little strong, trying to get there on the other end with Saunders. It'll be Amante's ball. challenge right now is to keep everything dry here in the press box. Nice job getting it down inside. Montgomery defense is there. Through ball again. Talia Woods comes out. <laughs> Look at Newman swinging the ball again, just keeping it. Into the middle. Good battle by the Montgomery defender right there, using her body, winning it. Bella Hunter centers it up. Lightner on the other end goes a little high. Yeah, it's a good pass and cross. Her momentum was going a little bit away from the goal, which makes it a really difficult shot. Gianna Teldeshi will check in now for Newman as we see that last play. Yeah, Bella Hunter coming out and pushing Natalie Mendoza up. Bella Hunter is going to take a little break here. My night, her night might be over. See, there's Sophia Leitner again. I mean, the header didn't go forward, but she's the first one to the ball challenging for it. I mean, she's running all over the field. That one trickles out on the near side. Bump in the middle, Sophia Leitner keeps possession. Bikes kind of send it long, but Woods is there.
Good Ball diva. trickles out far side. That's good D by Monty right there. She used her body to shield it, let it go out of bounds. See right there, there's the split ball. They've been playing that ball all night right between two defenders. Able to find it. Leitner passes it up. Yeah, looks like Newman's going to sub in a couple more players. Snearly checks in. Shanduvi checks in. And Sophia Leitner checks out. Gets a good hand from the crowd. Yeah, she's played a great game. Senior night, the senior stepped up. Woods had an awesome game in goal. Leitner, Hunter, Barnes. Lauren. The rain's almost stopped now, finally. It was kind of brutal there for a while. Appreciate the crew here at YSN365.com hanging in there. Keeping the cameras dry, keeping themselves dry, and keeping the stream going. Long ball. Yeah, looks like we had a foul. Yeah, it's awesome what you guys could do for the kids and make it a great experience and having live replays and interviews and it's yeah, it's super cool. A couple more subs for Newman coming in here. It's about twelve thirty to go. Lena Hagen and Corey will be coming in. Sent back to Woods. And here comes the subs. Corey checks in. Like we're going to get another sub here. Yeah. Keeper change. Goalkeeper. <laughs> Ava Woods checks in. Talia Woods checks out. Seniors all smiles down there on the Newman side. Yeah, good night for the seniors. They do have that makeup game against Windsor on Saturday. Had to be postponed earlier in the year because the officials didn't get the word that the games were 6 instead of 7.30. And so that one had, is going to be replayed on Saturday. That'll be interesting. Hopefully the weather's a little better. Started off okay tonight. <laughs> Sent back, Ava Woods. Played by Mansfield. Or 
tees for Newman. Keeps it going. Under 10 to play. Newman in control. 3-0. Yeah, they really started out on fire in the second half, scoring that goal, that third goal, three minutes in. Really just kind of changed the whole dynamic of the second half. Yeah, and you talked about the last five of the first half, first five of the second half, and that has certainly been the case tonight. Yeah, scored a goal in both of them. It's tough. If you're a Montgomery Viking fan, that's hard because you're like, oh, they won zero. Newman was, had chances, a lot of corner kicks. It was right there, get to halftime, and then Bella Hunter made a great play, and Sophia Leitner scored, and then you rally the troops, and you, you know, you're positive, and you get them going, and then the goal right to start the second half is just really deflating. But credit to the Montgomery girls for battling and, and not quitting and running hard and not giving up. Ball is going to slide all the way back to Ava Woods. Foul call. They're going to let him play a little bit over there. Mark's a good referee. He uses his voice a lot, talks to the girls and the boys, and controls the game with his communication. Almost a handball there. Keep it rolling. Under eight to play. Montgomery's got a couple subs ready to come in on that far side. Touch in. Oh, it's going to skirt out of bounds. Mm -hmm. Simone DeSisto is getting ready to check in now. A nice lot of players getting into the action here yeah. for Newman. It's always nice as a coach when you can get down that roster, get everybody in, get everybody a little. Bit of playing time yeah. keeps everybody happy. Here come Montgomery. Oh, good first touch in. Vikings uh -oh. have an opportunity. Unlucky. But you. Good try. Nice job yeah. on defense. Yeah, I think both both teams have, have gotten gotten all their girls in right now, so it's nice to be able to see everyone get some minutes. You could kind of see the difference in play a little bit too. Just a little bit more like frantic play or ball up in the air. Nora Sneerly. Yeah, Nora had an excellent first part of the first half. She was involved in, in the first goal. Montgomery tries a little counter here. Vanessa Vega in the middle. Sends oh, it to Kayla. Nice one, too. Gagarin. And slides out on that far side. Yeah, 
So, Maddie Bugby, Simone DeSisto, and Mage Lee. I'll, 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 I'll kind of like keep them. And that one slides out on the near side. Matty Bugby, May Trioni, and Simone DeSisto check in. So Bugby, Trioni, and DeSisto are on. Slides all the way through. See if Montgomery could get a shot off here. They're keeping it down. They're good trying. Cross. Ball was right into the middle of the box. Oh, that was a good cross. That was a good cross. Cardinals defense rising. Trioni, May Trioni. Oh, she did. Here she comes, out in front of the pack. Trioni. A little bit long. Almost got through Gonzalez, however. A good hustle. She was running hard. Yeah, she was. Mm -hmm. Here's another look at it. Right here, you can see Maddie Bugby gave her a little diagonal ball. She never quit on it. She really meant to shoot that. She just got a little more on the pass to herself than she yeah, was expecting, the, but it almost slid through the keeper's Yeah, hands. the last touch was it being slick on the turf from the rain got a little bit farther from her. It's hard when you're running that fast. Here she goes. Right here, just the touch, just good first touch, and that second touch is a little bit too far to get the shot off, but she didn't quit on it. She's been doing a really good job in these like last six, five, six minutes. She's been getting on the field. She's been... Active around the ball, hustling. She's been doing a great job. Good ball that time, centered up. This one's going to go back. Thought they might play that back to the keeper, but yeah. nope, they're going to continue to attack. Nearly has it. Nor has that one slides out. Such great control of the ball. Nearing extra time. Not sure how much time they'll actually put back on. There hasn't been a lot of stoppages. No. Throw in. Oh, good hustle. Kept it in. Oh, keeper was there. Yeah. She had a good night. A little collision right there. Chiana going strong for the ball. Now into extra time.
Great free kick. Almost yeah. slid all the way through. Yeah, number two, Sienna. She's had a good night, too, up in that game. And that is going to do it. So Newman wins it. Coming up with those three goals and really finishing off that first half strong and coming out hot in the second half. Really great job and a number of great players in this one. Yeah, both teams played hard. It was a good game. You know, continued. I just gotta, that's the beauty about league on either side. You got one more day of practice and got to turn around and get ready for another one. So you can't get too high, can't get too low. Just keep on working, trying to get, do the best you can. Yes, indeed. So it's going to do it for our coverage. We're going to try to get uh, our equipment in a safer, warmer, drier place right now. So we're going to close this out real quick. And uh, it was a lot of fun, though. Ryan, good luck tomorrow. Thanks for being here. Really appreciate it. Thank you for having me, Dave. It's always a, it's, it's an honor to do it and to be able to be behind the scenes and see how much work you guys put into our kids at school. It's really a special treat. So thank you very much, Dave. You are welcome. So that's going to do it for us tonight. Congratulations to the Cardinals. They win this one. Kind of going away. 3 nothing, And they continue their quest for an NBL championship and move on to North Coast section. For Ryan Corvo, Hugo Traverso, and all of us here at YSN365.com, I'm Dave Cox saying good night from Cardinal Newman High School. We will have a bunch more games mostly basketball now the rest of the week Newman Piner at Piner tomorrow and then we'll have a couple games back here at Newman after that until then have a great night everybody and we'll see you again soon right here on YSN 365.com <laughs>